Maldonado from Pop Culture Planet. I'm so excited to speak with you. This was such a wild movie. Um, so I can't wait to get into it with you. Um, you know, and I, I got to start off, you know, this month, it's actually five years since Everything Sucks, one of your first Netflix projects. And so I'm curious, like what it was like going from, you know, that to we have a ghost sort of returning to Netflix and especially after everything you've kind of done in your career since kind of what it was like returning back. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. I think it it, it meant a lot more just because it was it was the right kind of next thing. Um, it was the, the movie is really fun and it also is um, similar to Everything Sucks. It's it's centered on a, a young kid who's just trying to figure himself out and come up in the world. And so um, I, I had a really a really great time and Chris Landon, our director, was so awesome and um, with everything and I'm so grateful to him for allowing me to be a part of it it was great you got such a star-studded cast I know David Harbour doesn't really say much in the movie but I'm curious what it was like on set for you guys you got Anthony Mackie Jennifer Coolidge you know just what you kind of took away working with these heavy hitters on set oh it's great I, I was I was really cool because I got to work with David and Anthony like really heavily in equal um equal time so it was like interesting to see that dichotomy and the difference between the two of them like Anthony comes on set and he's like the life of the party he's like gregarious he's awesome and David is really like studious and really um serious about his work and that was just equally as motivating and, and inspiring and Jennifer Coolidge is Jennifer Coolidge she's like the coolest and just so naturally sweet and hilarious and I had a great time working with all three of them and Erica and Niles the entire cast we we all got along really 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 great and now I gotta know because you're you know obviously filming opposite of ghost so to speak mm -hmm. uh, what was that like on set like technical effects wise you know with the big stunts and things going on we were fortunate to have David um there the whole time so he was actually there and he was I had something to to play off of um, but there were times where he had to step out and I would kind of have to act with no one with the air and just kind of use him as an eyeline or a source of reference for special effects purposes. Um, but for the most part, he was there the whole time. So I didn't find myself having to um, pretend or overly do anything like um, internally. Um, and he was giving me so much to go off of. And he's such a great actor and I, I love that. He didn't commit any less because he wasn't talking heavily throughout the, the movie. He was just as committed and that inspired me to be equally as committed too, so. Can you share um, any maybe like favorite moment on set, maybe any challenging uh, scenes to film? I would say the car chase sequence was uh, pretty, pretty challenging just because it took us a really long time to like n get that and it was a, uh, there were times where we were felt like we were shooting the same thing over and over again. <laughs> to be honest with you, and I um I would look at Dave and be like, "What are we still shooting?" It's like, is this the same thing? And um yeah, but we got each other through that, and Issa as well. Uh, she was a great sport about the whole thing too. It was a lot of fun, but I mean, we were shooting in in the heat, hot Louisiana sun uh and it, it i mean by the end of the day we were all like just drained and sweaty after being in a hot car all day <laughs> so it was like um yeah it, it was challenging but fun at the same time it was really cool as much as this movie is about a ghost gone viral i mean there's so many like these deeper emotional moments i got a little teary at the end and i was like oh my gosh you know it's about <laughs> parents aren't perfect families reconnecting i'd love to hear kind of how you tackled those themes yeah, well, it, it was really important to Chris Land and our director for those themes to be really uh, omnipresent throughout the film as well, is that, yes, the, the movie is about um, Ernest and his journey and the world and how that they kind of respond to him, but at the core, it's really about the the family dynamics and the friendship between Ernest and Kevin. And, and so um, we had rehearsal time where we would just kind of talk through the characters and talk about um, their relationships to one another. And um, Anthony was was really great about um, the, the father-son dynamic. He had a lot of great input and uh, I did as well. And so I, it was really important for all of us, to all of us for those themes to be equally as present as anything else. You're starring in a movie about a ghost. 
Do you have your own thoughts or experiences about paranormal phenomenon? Like, do you believe in it? What would be your reaction if you saw one? Have you ever had like a ghost experience? I have never had a ghost experience that I can recall. Um, and I hope I don't have one anytime soon because uh, I'm f fight or flight and I'm flight. I have no interest in fighting. Uh, I will lose. You can have it. Have the house, ghost, please. Please take it. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't want no smoke with a ghost. Um, uh, we don't want no ghost. No. Um, I just turned into Ray Parker Jr. But um, yeah, no. Um, yeah, no, no. No supernatural activities. And uh, yeah, no. <laughs> so you wouldn't be like your character taking the video laughing. You'd be maybe like the mom screaming and running, running out the room. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah, flight, flight all day. There'll be a, a jahi sized hole in the wall. Yeah, no, I am, I'm, I'm good on that. <laughs> <laughs> Same. I want to thank you for your time, and I'm just so excited for everything you have going on. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Consider subscribing if you like my videos, and if you want to talk more TV and movies with me outside of the comments section, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash kmaldo. If you like this one, you can check out more of my videos right over here. See ya!